So I have one more of my favorite photos from the Women's March. Uh, look at our other videos. You see what we think the problem was with the march. The march, also, a lot of positives from the march. We also uh, pointed out the negatives or what could be better. Uh, here is someone named Rochelle Nicole, which is what a great name. Rochelle Nicole. And she was at the march in D.C. And uh, she tweeted this picture out. She says... <laughs> Now, I don't, I don't agree with calling any woman that name, but this is a woman doing it, so we're reporting it. That's different. <laughs> we're reporting it. Uh, she says, you see what she says, Debbie, Debbie's out here like it ain't her fault. Yeah, so that's, that was one of the problems with the, with the march, that people like that were front and center, meaning Debbie Washman Schultz, who's responsible for Trump. She screwed over the real progressive. They cheated. She didn't just she just didn't, didn't just endorse the the worst candidate in the history of America. She screwed over the what the guy who the people wanted, who was the progressive because he represented the working man's agenda. And so what so I'll, I'll I'll explain it one more time. When the Democrats got in bed with Wall Street, Wall Street's agenda is completely diametrically opposed to workers' agendas. So they're getting all their money from donors. They've already screwed over workers with NAFTA and every other goddamn thing and the TPP. So the Democrats were like, fuck, what are we going to do? Well, we got to defeat that Bernie Sanders because my job depends on it. I would like to be a lobbyist. I want to go from the DNC to lobbying and I want to have this revolving door open and I want this. Come on, baby. So they immediately had to defeat the agenda of Bernie Sanders, which is the agenda of workers. They were they were more set on doing that than defeating and then we'll worry about defeating the Republicans. So don't ever forget that's what they did. And they cheated. Why do you think she had to step down from the DNC? Because she cheated. And Americans see that there's no there's no repercussion, by the way. We live in this completely corrupted society where uh there's a there's a there's a class of people who don't get in trouble when they do things that are horrible. Bankers completely could do whatever they want. And apparently Debbie Washerman Schultz and her uh, corporate minions. They can do whatever they want. No price to pay. No, there's no price to pay for what they did. Donna Brazil still at the head of the DNC, right, as of today. And everyone knows she cheated with CNN. Everyone knows. But she's like, Russia, Russia, Russia. And the mainstream media goes right fucking along with it. So this is uh, someone who's not letting people forget. She's out here like it ain't her fault. I need to hear more. I need to hear some apologies from the DNC. I need to hear Deb Donna Brazil apologize. I need to hear Debbie Wasserman Schultz apologize. I need to hear Cory Booker apologize for his. But those people, I don't think they're gonna. So you know just how un dissatisfied progressives are with the DNC and the Democratic Party in general. That's how dissatisfied we have to make them. That's how she's like, oh, I'm a Democrat, but God, I really hate how progressive they are. That's how we need to make them. They need to be unhappy with the Democratic Party. That's what needs to happen. They need to change. You can't win. You can't beat something with nothing. And what the Democrats offer are nothing. These social issues on the edges. You got to beat something with something. So good for you, Rochelle Nicole, reminding everybody that Debbie Wasserman Schultz is the problem. The corporatists at the DNC are the problem. But guess what? Organically, the progressives are taking over. We took over in, in California. with the, uh, We elected a progressive slate of uh, Democratic delegates. Also, I just heard from them today in Iowa. They did the same thing in Iowa. Got rid of the corporate Democrats. The head, the guy who was the most powerful Democrat in the state in Iowa on, on Election Day, just got voted out from being the chair of the Iowa DNC. Isn't that nice? So, And it's organic. It's happening that the progressives are slowly taking over the Democratic Party. They need to take it over quickly or that's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> they need to do it quickly or because uh, watch what it's happening. The, the conservative Republicans and Donnie Tinehans are going to clash. He's the most unpopular guy ever. They're going to have to defend him in the midterms or run with them. Sophie's choice.